Good afternoon. The evidence in this case overwhelming that according to prosecutor Kim Worthy, she called it credible, provable, supportable facts. Now, the 98-day investigation found ICE agent Mitchell Quinn was justified in the shooting death of Terrence Kellum. Lengthy analysis found Kellum taunted law enforcement, saying he had a gun. Other officers backed up the agent's account that Kellum lunged at the agent with a hammer. And blood spatter proves Kellum continued to lunge after being shot. The agent was thus acting in self-defense. Here's more from Prosecutor Worthy. I personally have a record in a history of charging people, whether it be officers or mayors or anybody that does wrong, if we can prove it under the law. But on the other side, I'm not going to yield to any kind of pressure, number one, and I'm certainly not going to charge people that we can't prove beyond a reasonable doubt, or frankly, did not commit the um, offense for which we investigated them for. Now, agents and police officers were at Kellum's house because he was a wanted fugitive. Meanwhile, the ICE agent involved has returned to duty. Our coverage continues now with my colleague, the now Detroit's Kim Russell. Kim? Yes, Jonathan, I'm outside the Kellum family home on Evergreen near West Chicago in Detroit where this shooting happened. They gathered here this afternoon after the news came down, and the father of Terrence Kellum tells me this is not over. Loved ones consoled Kevin Kellum, the father of Terrence Kellum, when he learned Prosecutor Kim Worthy said the shooting that killed his son Terrence was justified. And Kim Worthy is literally just giving them these police officers the right to assassinate people. But Worthy said the eyewitness, blood splatter, and bullet trajectory evidence paints a clear picture. An ICE agent shot his son in self-defense because he came after the agent with a hammer. She says Kevin Kellum lied about witnessing it all. And she said that Terrence was shot four times and that you said he was shot ten times. She said that Terrence, there was evidence he was in the attic, there was insulation on his clothing, and that you said he wasn't in the attic and that he wasn't shot in front of you. What do you want to say to her allegations that you would lie? Uh, I'll say tell her to talk to my lawyer about it. He'll take care of it. I know what I saw. Are you saying that police planted evidence? I don't know. I'm not saying anything. I'm not saying anything. All I'm saying is, I mean, you know, just like she made her decision, it was her job to make her decision. Now it's our job to do what we got to do. Now the family is planning a civil lawsuit, hoping to get justice for Terrence and hoping that they can win a settlement in court or at trial. Now, in the meantime, the attorney for the agent who shot this young man is speaking out. You'll hear from him ahead on 7 Action News at 5. Reporting live in Detroit, Kim Russell, 7 Action News. All right, Kim, thank you for the live updates.